What's up? This is D-Rate of Difference Davis, and you're checking out thisis50.com. Keep watching, or else, motherfucker. Or else. You get shot nine times. Tell us a little something about yourself. Well, I, start, I just got out, I had just got out the other day, and I'm, ba I'm basically, now I'm in a rap game, and my rap name is geared to me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite flavor of ice cream is probably this dude had, I don't know what you call the flavor, but he had bought the ice cream, and I punched him in his face, and it fell on the ground, so it's probably like, um, ground flavored. <laughs> Lil John, yo, L-I-T-T-L-E John, yo, yo. You can stand there trying to look hard and make them faces. That ain't platinum in your mouth. Them expensive braces. <laughs> Yo, what had happened was, I know you look at me and you think it's something that you're going to see, but you're not. What you thought you saw wasn't what you really saw. <laughs> what had happened was, I was in my car, I'm driving my car, and I heard the engine. Hi, <laughs> John. My John. My John was so damn fly. He asked my girl for a phone number, and I gave it to him. Let me tell him something. The girls already sworn it. Why you rapping so much? You already performing. So you don't want to mess with me, because I know you be thinking that I'm just a wildin' out MC, but it's a picnic on your back, and I can pick up any chick, and any bitch that you been with when you're kissing, you tasting my Yo, what, D-Ray, what's happening, man? What up, man? Yo, you have been on Chilling? this shit from the start. Yeah, yeah. Wildin' out, First man. show ever. First show, wildin' out. All the way to now. Still wild out. Trying to try keep a job. You've been like a seasoned comedian before Nick Cannon even started this, man. Why did you even agree to do the show? Uh, I feel like everybody can grow, you know, and no matter what you're doing, you got to keep staying at it and, stay, and keeping my, my improv skills up because that's what I do as a comic, go on stage and just make up, you know, make up shit. I ain't got time to sit down and write the way a lot of comics do when my ADD kicks in. I got to, you know, get it in. Mm. Word, so, word, word. So, and I, and I feel like Nick. Just like any anybody building a team, you need athletes who who been playing for a while to help you know ground the team first, mm -hmm. you know, before the youth comes and shows that athleticism, comedic athleticism, mm -hmm. they do, you know, yeah. One of the biggest misconceptions about uh, D. Ray Davis is that he is arrogant. Yeah, he don't give a fuck about nobody or but himself. Yeah, that, that's that's I what. I've never heard that. You ain't never heard that? I've yeah, heard no, that. People kiss your ass. They, they well, scared no, of you, no, D-Ray. No, you no. intimidating. I look, at like, I look at it like this. I don't consider myself intimidating. I, I consider myself a realist. And a lot of people who don't want to bring the truth forward because it's uncomfortable a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? Reality is everybody not air. It, 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 it could be cold in the room and people act like they're comfortable sleeping under sheets. Somebody got to ask for the colors. That's <laughs> what I do. I ask for the comfort of the slippers, the, the robe and situations. So... And, and, and I ask for everybody. I feel like the walls I break down be for everybody. It don't just be me. I, I shout out, you know, the, the Martin Luther Kings of the world ain't gone. Mm. You know what I mean? The Malcolm X's ain't gone. They just speaking up for different things now. Mm. That's all. So you saying that even inside the industry and whatnot, you still are a, 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 you still an, an activist and whatnot. You don't just yeah. let shit just happen. Can't you let shit slide, man. You got to be, I mean, we, you got to pick and, pick and choose your battles, but I feel like if you let, you let too much shit slide, then you, you, you enable yourself to be an enabler. Mm -hmm. you, you make people look at you and say, he cool with just laying down for anything. D-Ray, since Wildin' Out season six, man, I mean, what can people expect? Wildin' Out season six, more, more D-Ray, more crazy shit, more motherfucking, just, the, the difference in me now is watching the other people uh, who, who don't give a fuck. Like, they really don't give a fuck. And now I kind of give a fuck. Cause I, my daughter, I got you no know, my my I got uh, I'm thinking in a different direction. Is that's what growing up is? That's what growing up, man. It's starting to give a fuck. Starting to give a fuck about what, what you used to not give a fuck. When now certain things they say, I'll be like, I don't want to say that shit because because <laughs> when the show started, we wasn't friends. I wasn't friends with these people when the show started. Now you go out, you do a movie with somebody, they picture pop up. You gotta be like, uh, they should have aborted their baby. It's like you can't. You gotta watch what you say because you run into these people. These motherfuckers not gonna run into these people. Right. I got to see this motherfucker at a table read, so. Right, 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 right. Fuck that. And like, I mean, like, D-Ray, you've been around for a minute, man. I ain't seen you in countless movies, man. If I was just to guess, you've been in over damn near 40 movies and whatnot. You done had a lot nah, of... No, man, just 32. It was... <laughs> 32 movies, that's all. 32 movies. 32 man. movies with a total of 12 lines. Were... <laughs> so what would you say is, like, the highlight of your career? The stage, always. Getting on stage and being me and people saying, D-Ray. Mm. Like, come to the stage, D-Ray, mm. and they, they cheer. 
because mm. I'm finna get up there and talk, mm. not sing, not act, um, just talk. Motherfuckers want to hear what you gotta say to help them feel better about whatever fucked up thing they going through. Mm. So they be like, come to the stage, D-Ray, and they they cheer. Mm. I worked for that shit. Mm. When it used to be come to the stage, D-Ray, two three claps and nobody say nothing. Mm. I've grown on people as myself, and they appreciate that. And it's it's instant gratification. That's the shit. You say something, they laugh. You say something, they laugh. You know right then. Well, a movie, yo, wait till that shit come out. You might be sitting in the theater, nigga. Thought you said something funny, and motherfuckers be like, you like, fuck. Mm. On stage, you know right away. They fuck with it or they don't. So I'm glad we got a fucking black president. We, we taking credit for everything now, though, ain't we? We're like, since Barack got in there, the gas went down. Barack, nigga. That plane almost crashed, it landed in the water. We were like, nigga, Barack, nigga. That's what that's about. Mm. So, yeah. I, that's, my, that's my career high, high every time. That's my motherfucking cocaine, that's my heroin, that's my get down, that's my wife. Hey, you have unique shows too, D-Ray. One Thank thing you. that like is amazing about your shows, it don't be nothing but bitches there. Yo, how do you get that to happen? Shout man? out to D Ray's Dials. I love y'all. I love y'all, man. They just, I mean, they. they, they what follow, is it? What are you they, saying that we ain't saying, they man? They follow a king, man. You got to be a king. You know what I'm saying, motherfuckers? You got to be a king and you got to, uh, and they got to feel like they can learn something from you. Not just motherfucking, um, fucking them and, and buying. But women are smart motherfuckers. They feel like they, they want to learn something from you. They want to get what they can from you. Apply that to their next situation or their situation at job or to whatever. That's what they're here for. They here, they here to conquer. So they really think they come in our shows to, to learn how to beat us. It's like a reverse. It's like Planet of the Apes, except they not apes. They bitches. <laughs> they chicks. They wow. women. Wow. They slowly learning to speak our language. They gonna drive our cars. Mm. They gonna, they're taking our women. Right. Women are taking our women. See. Be right. Yeah, I done seen you out on a few different occasions. You didn't have four or five girls with you just in your personal life. Yeah. What is that like and how do you get that reality? I think it's just conversation, man. It's an invite. A lot of dudes can do it. They don't make the invite. Get on your phone, man. Invite. Hey, me and a couple of my friends going out. Come hang with us. Women, man. You know, women, they like free shit, too. So you <laughs> like to get a drink. Hell yeah, they'll go out with your ass. They ain't buying no bottles. If I buy the bitch, I'll say, bring your purse. <laughs> I'm not going. <laughs> so hold on, time out. So you telling me that tell them to bring their purse and we're going to go out and have a gonna, good time. They, not gonna, they ain't going to show up. <laughs> that ain't gonna, it ain't going to happen. Tell a make sure you got some money. Ever te text her to a chick one day. We, we tell her to come meet you. Like, yo, come on, make sure you have a couple dollars with you. She's going to be like, oh, you know what I'm staying in tonight? I got a bunch of bitches with me, and we about to have a good time tonight. What you want to do? Yeah, that's it. Let's have a good damn time. By, okay. I might not be able to pay, pay full attention to you, but somebody going to be there to, to talk to you. Bottom line. Okay. You know what I'm saying? D-Ray, yo, I was bugging when I seen you inside G.I. Joe. Yeah. You know, I mean, I know. My arms look the size of the rocks in there. Hey, nigga, I you were looking crazy in I, that li I, I, I lifted right like a week up to that trying to look like the rock, so. Word, word, word. How do you be booking all these dope ass fucking roles? You know why I be saying that? Yo, I know you. I don't. I look at you as a star, but man, I feel like you my homeboy. Like you, you it, ain't, it ain't the cause same. We, Cause we comics. I think it's producers, man. A lot of people produce the same thing. So they produce the person that put me in GI Joe, the same dude who did um, Imagine That. Right. So people see you in something, they use you, and they be like, oh, you know, we can fit in here, D Ray. So I, I've been. I've been blessed with them kind of opportunities, man. Mm. So that's a good thing to be able to it, just fucking, somebody to call you and know you're gonna get the job done is fucking huge. You got a brand new TV show. Brand new show. Uh, Mind of a Man on GSN. Matter of fact, shout out to 50 for uh, uh, tweeting it. He said, check out D-Ray on Mind of a Man. They got 18 billion followers. And um, it's a new game show. Two women try to figure out what a man is thinking. And they can win $10,000 if they do that. And motherfucking women don't be doing shit. Don't be doing shit. Nothing. Is there anything you want to tell This Is 50 before we leave out you? Yo, This Is 50, man. Uh, 50. Seriously. Give me this nigga job. That's it. How about that shit? This Is 50. Watch how I say it. Yo, what's up? It's D-Ray Davis. This Is 50. Interviewing. Used to be host. <laughs> Yo, man. Live, laugh, love. Have a good time, y'all, man.
Hey, like I always say, you just can't say you're real or something, but gotta be. D Ray Davis, man, we over when we out of here. Hey, yeah. do I have something in mind? Y'all look commercial. Don't kiss the moles in the mouth unless you got to. This ain't the place to be. Fuck a hit. Niggas will blow off your face for free. Sunday sermon. Preacher keep on facing me. It's like every